Nearly 19 years after 9-11, the tragedy still continues to unfold for the responders at Ground Zero. On Saturday, a former Salt Lake Unified firefighter from Cottonwood Heights became the latest victim of the attack. Unified Fire Authority colleagues remember Chris Cage as a fire engine driver, an honor guard volunteer, a father, a grandfather, and an avid skier. Great heart, wonderful attitude. Um, he had a smile that was almost infectious. Captain Mike Greensides and Cage were part of Utah's Task Force One that went to Ground Zero to recover bodies from the rubble of the World Trade Center. Both men knew that the air they were breathing there was potentially hazardous, partly because of the horrendous stench. I said it's a combination of rotting meat, the most stinkiest garbage can you can ever imagine, and a really stinky garbage fire is what it smells like. And I'll never forget that smell. And so we know there's a lot of different stuff happening. Apparently, Cage brought home more than memories. This summer, Cage experienced back pain and went in for tests. During those scans, uh, they found other areas that had tumors. And he was diagnosed with small, uh, small cell lung cancer. The other bad thing with this cancer is it, it uh, metastasizes very quickly. Six weeks from when he learned that he had cancer to when he passed away very rapid. It turns out that other members of Task Force One have also been stricken. Salt Lake City Fire Captain Robin Pilcher died of 9-11 related pancreatic cancer in 2016. We have, had, have others who have had prostate, who have had testicular cancer. Uh, we've had another, uh, fire, another person has uh, brain tumors um, going on. Um, I myself I've had uh, kidney cancer, and last year on May 20th, I had my left kidney and a large tumor removed. Captain Greenside says he's healthy now, except for the pain of losing his friend and colleague, Chris Cage. He loved life. He loved his family. Uh, it was pretty evident that uh, he, um, he had a greater sense of duty in trying to give back. Funeral arrangements for Chris Cage are still pending.